Why do some amps weigh so little? Hmm. This question comes from David in Pompano, Pompano, Pompano Beach, Florida. Pompano, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm an engineer, not a geographer. How is it that smaller tube amps and products like your Sprout 100 can be so compact and light when other high-end amps have to weigh 20 pounds and up, like hundreds of pounds, uh, to put out equivalent or only slightly higher numbers? A lot of emphasis is placed on the transformer on these weightier products, but many reviewers say these more compact units, such as yours, put out a very high-quality sound. And it is true. So the biggest differences if, for equivalent wattage outputs are the type of amplifier that we're dealing with. So for years, the primary kind of amplifier was called a class AB amplifier. And that is a, whether you're using BJTs or MOSFETs or whatever kind of output uh, that you're using, a class AB amplifier was about 50% efficient. So 50% of the output power that it produced, um, let's say it was a 100 watt per channel, amp let's just say it's a mono amplifier, keep it simple. You got a 100 watt amplifier. Well, it's going to, to, to produce those 100 watts, it's going to put out quite a bit of heat, okay? 100 watts of heat. Uh, it, it can do as much as that. And that's a typical, what we would call a class AB amplifier. And then along comes what we call class D amplifiers. And a class D amplifier is a pulse width modulated amplifier. It's essentially analog, but it seems kind of digital. It, it has a series of on and off pulses that get wider or smaller, depend, and they, they happen like 100,000 times a second. Um, and they, they put out more energy or less energy that follows the sine wave. There's a filter at the output, done. And they can sound quite excellent. The, the original Class Ds were awful. And today they still have um, a sketchy uh, reputation, I guess is good, based primarily on the older ones that did sound like crap. But even in the beginning, they could be made to sound good. So we, we had one of the very first ones, and we called it the hybrid Class A. We put a Class A input stage onto this new technology called Class D, and it was a damn good sounding amplifier. It's really good. And today it's gotten even better to the point where we make one product called the M1200, which I think is one of the best sounding power amplifiers in the world. It's a 1200 watt mono amplifier with a vacuum tube on its input. And that, I'll put that up against anything out there. And is it better? Better than most things. Not as good as some. But man, I tell you what, it's, it's, a, it's a juggling act, okay? It's not like you're going, oh, eh. It's really, really good. So let me show you an answer to his question. Here is this, oops, oh, this beast which is really heavy. I don't know how much this weighs, 20 pounds? I don't know, it weighs a lot. It's got a big old heat sink on it. And you can see all the circuitry, there's all the output transistors, power supply capacity. And then in addition to that, there's a big old transformer and a whole bunch more power supply capacitors. Uh, there are two of these inside of our big um, uh, 300 watt monoblock amplifier. It does 300 watts into 8 ohms and 600 watts into 4 ohms. And this is the BHK 300. And it takes a lot because it is a class AB amplifier. It's 50% efficient. So whatever it produces, it's going to produce that much in heat as well. Um, and so that's what all these big heat sinks are. And then a big old transformer. Now, compare that to this. Doesn't weigh much. There is no transformer that has to go with it. This is a 1200 watt monoblock amplifier. You put in 110 volts here, maybe here, <laughs> and out comes audio. This is it, this is everything. Now there's a lot of stuff here, but it doesn't weigh anything. It puts out twice the amount of power that two of these do. 
And that's all due to the way the technology that is used, class D versus class AB. So th those are the biggest differences. Um, and man, you know, it's come a long way. If you ever have a chance to hear an M1200 from PS Audio or M700s, um, take, take the opportunity to do it. You'll be blown away. They are just phenomenal sounding. And, it was, and so is this, but this is older technology, has its charms, has its, it's a wonderful sounding amplifier, and in many respects, um, the, the 300, I mean, I still listen to the 300s uh, over the 1200, but it's only by that much now. And on the big system, of course, you hear it, but I'll tell you what, this is, this is coming up. And you may not be able to afford $10,000, $15,000 worth of amplifiers, but here, for 400, or no, I don't know, 4,000 bucks, whatever it costs, quite a bit less money, um, you can get within 90% of that, and that's pretty good. So, okay, hope that answers your question. Take it easy.